good morning thank you for joining me i hope everybody's well i think i'm looking at i've got my phone instead of my camera and i always look in the wrong bed <laughs> i never know where i'm supposed to be looking i think it's that end that i'm supposed to look at i don't know anyway welcome to another video today's video is a as you will always will already have seen before you I feel very rusty i haven't done this for a while um my words are coming out wrong Today's video is, as you will have seen already if you, before you clicked on it, an Outfits of the Week. I filmed this the first week of January, so it's taken me a while to get around to editing it, but um, I hope you enjoy it. I like these videos. I've decided that I'm going to do these videos four times a year. That was three, Caroline. That's four. <laughs> I don't know why I need to show you what four is. It's not a children's TV programme, is it? um seasonally so a winter a spring a summer and an autumn and i like filming these videos because i think two reasons really one using things you already have is good isn't it there's not this endless quest to buy more and get more and um although i do like my fast fashion as i've said before and i make no apology for that um I think it's good to concentrate on the things that you have as well. A man just got out. I'm in the car park at the chiropractor's and a man has just got out of his car opposite me and is fascinated by the fact that I'm talking to my camera, my phone even. You could be on it like a FaceTime call or something, couldn't you? I don't feel like it's that odd these days, but hey-ho. Anyway, never mind. Um, God, I'm waffling this morning, aren't I? So yeah, I like the fact that it makes you, it, it's all about using what you already have and perhaps putting things together in a different way and all that sort of thing. And also as an extension of that, it makes me be perhaps more, I think it's very easy to pull on the same pair of jeans and tops um, from, a, don't, don't they say we wear 80 or 20, 20% 20 of our wardrobe 80% of the time or something like that and I feel like making these videos makes me a bit more creative with outfits perhaps pull, thing, pull things out that I haven't worn for a while and put them with something new and um, just sort of get re-energized about and excited about my wardrobe and things I've already got so yeah I think that these videos are good from that point of view and when I've done them in the past they've always had quite good views so I guess that you guys like them as well um that was a very long introduction so this is what i wore in the first week of january my daily outfits i will link everything below that i can find but most of what i wore was stuff that i'd had for quite a long time so um i won't necessarily be able to link everything but um i will do my best and perhaps i will try and find if i can find similar for things that aren't any of it or aren't available anymore <laughs> i will do that anyway i hope you enjoy it Thank you for watching and I was going to say I'll see you in the next one but here it comes. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to Tuesday the 4th of January. Um, I normally film my outfits over by the window however move my furniture around my new dining table is now in the window we kind of like it there so just trying out different places for outfits i'm feeling like the light might be good here because you've got the light from the dome up there so hopefully as i move back i won't go too much into shadow i know the background's a little bit busy but hey we'll just have to put up with that anyway here is today's outfit of the day i am not doing anything exciting the only place I'm going is the supermarket and the parcel shop. But getting dressed, putting your makeup on, makes you feel better, doesn't it? So today I am wearing, let's go from the bottom upwards, got these little black leather ankle boots from Clark's, which I actually bought from a charity shop for £6 a couple of years ago now. They're heading towards their last legs, I would say. Um, but they're super comfortable. And then I've got these trousers which I've pulled out, which I've not worn in ages. I've got, I was into the mustard for a long time and then I kind of went off it. You know when it was super in fashion a couple of years ago, everywhere, everything was mustard. Um, anyway, these trousers are from F&F &F Tesco's. Um, not sure if I like them anymore. I feel like it's not a great length on me. Although I like the look of the sort of ankle, just above the ankle trouser with the boots sort of on show I feel like with short legs it's maybe not the most flattering look however when I watch this back it's kind of you get a different perspective from filming yourself than you do from looking at yourself in the mirror it's weird I don't know if it's because it's a different angle or a different 
what but anyway I digress um, I've got a little t-shirty type top with three quarter sleeves with a sequined leopard print star on the front um, this is from two at Sainsbury's last year and then finally I've got this sort of very bat wingy black jersey jacket which is from yours clothing which I find really good for bunging on over the top of things um, when it's not it's that really mild dreary weather at the moment and it's too warm for a coat for me but um, you need something so this is just ideal for those scenarios um, yeah that's Tuesday's outfit of the day good morning it's Wednesday the 5th of January and today we have some colder weather at last it feels like the longest time since we've had a crisp cold day and today is it so yay jumper <laughs> i've been too warm to wear jumpers for the last week or so even longer than that actually but um yeah sun's out anyway funny story not so much funny story coincidental story i guess you'd say more um was flicking through my instagram stories as you do last night and i came across an advert for some clothes company i get a lot of adverts for clothes companies probably because i click on quite a lot of adverts for clothes companies it's a self-perpetuating thing isn't it um yeah was, anyway i clicked on this uh, or came across this advert as i was scrolling and it had a lady wearing this very jumper in it um, she described it as a designer jumper, which I would take issue with because I don't think it is. Um, in fact, it's not. It's not by my reckoning of what designer is. However, that's um, all by the by. Let me... Anyway, the point of the advert was it reminded me I had this jumper. I'd bought it last year and I hadn't worn it for a particular reason. Let me... Just trying to angle you. A tripod's on the way out and it's not very stable. There we are. Right. So here is today's outfit. I have got on. Let's start with the jumper then, as we've talked about it. It's by a brand called Stella Morgan, but I bought it in Trago Mills, which is a big discount store that sells everything from car batteries to clothes to furniture to garden ornaments. It's one of those. I think I've done a come shop with me type of thing there on occasion. Um, anyway, I digress. This is the jumper. It's by Stella Morgan. It's a big oversized. Ashley said you look like a square beetle. I don't take a lot of notice of what Ashley says. It's sort of a, one of those square designs. But when I bought it, which I didn't realise, it had the sides were completely open all the way to the arm um, seam. So last night I dug out the jumper having seen this advert on Instagram and sewed the sides up. That was the reason I hadn't worn it yet. And I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. I think it um, looks pretty good. I quite like this. Um, as you know, this sort of oversized baggy style is very me. Very keen on it. Now, with the jump up today, I have got on... The sleeves do go full length, by the way. I just tend to wear them up because that's how I wear sleeves. Um, I've got my Simply Be straight leg shape and sculpt dark indigo jeans on which I absolutely love. These are my favourite jeans ever. So comfortable. And I feel like they fit really nicely as well around the bum. Um, I will link them in the description box below. And then I've also got these ankle boots with a little fur trim from, originally from Pavers, I think, but I got them on Vinted. Um, I only paid about four pounds for them. Um, super comfortable. And I've rolled up the jeans a little bit so you can see the fur trim on the ankle boots and then finally I've got these black dangly earrings which I've had for about 25 years I couldn't tell you where they are from so that is Tuesday's oh also with the jumper it's got quite a high neck so I've rolled it down inside I'm not very good with high necks I find them a little bit itchy but um Overall, I'm pleased with the jumper. I'm glad I saw the advert, so it reminded me to dig it out and sew up the sides. And um, it's getting its first outing since I bought it a year ago. Good morning. It's Thursday the 6th of January, I think I'm right in saying. It's not telling me on my watch, so we'll have to go with the 6th of January. Let's assume I'm right. Um, outfit of the day today. I felt like something... A little bit colourful so I've gone with this green ditzy print dress let me step back um, 
So the dress is from New Look. I'll just, so you can see the sleeve, it's sort of a shortish, maybe elbow length sleeve, little bit puffy. And it's this tiered style. It's from New Look, did I say that? I think it was last year, so I don't think I'll be able to link it. Might have been the year before. Um, just loose fit, I just like the green, sort of spring-like vibe from the print. And then blue cardigan from Primark with pockets, open front, um, navy, it's a fine knit. It's got buttons on the sleeve, which I don't particularly like, I have to say. Um, and then chunky lace-up boots, again from New Look, and these are just before, like October, November time, I think. So if I can link them, I will do super, super comfortable. And you don't have to do the laces up, they do it with a zip inside, which is a um, winner, winner chicken dinner, as far as I'm concerned. Um, no jewellery today, because, apart from my wedding rings, because I didn't put any on. Um, that's it. Good morning, it's Friday and time for another outfit. I've got a little gold chain on from Anna Luisa today, which I very much like. I'm going for coffee with um, a viewer this morning, going to meet a viewer um, who contacted me. And um, yeah, that'll be nice. So today I have on same jeans as the other day, the Simply Be Shape and Sculpt ones, but these are in black. Um, straight leg jeans, comfortable, really like them, my favourite jeans, as I've said before. Um, I've got a Typhoon leopard print blouse on, quite a thin blouse with a three quarter sleeve, that's from New Look Curve. Um, and then I've got this cardigan, which is super soft and lovely. This was from Primark. I think it's from their loungewear range. Um, but it's just so super soft and lovely and cosy and warm. So um, I'm wearing it, not as loungewear, so that's fun. Um, and then I've got these little June ankle boots uh, with a little tassel. Um, they're from the Head Over Heels range by June. Um, and again, I'm super comfy. So that is today's outfit. Hi, it's Saturday. I just realised I haven't filmed my outfit of the day. And today, I need to know your opinion on this. Um, I'm filming in the dressing room today because it's 6 p.m. I've just realised I haven't filmed my outfit of the day. And um, so it, I just I wanted to see what the light was like watching it back in here. I don't think it's going to be ideal at all because of the spotlights. But um, outfit of the day, I've been nowhere. It's poured with rain all day. We literally haven't left the house. Um, so I did get dressed, almost didn't, but I did get dressed. This is what I'm wearing. Um, I am wearing my little Clark's ankle boots that you saw earlier in the week, first day that I filmed, I think. Then I've got pink tights on from Snag Tights. Um, I've got a little tunic dress, which was from New Look last year. I've got this in black, it's a short sleeve one. Well, three quarter sleeve, really. Um, just a loose fit with a sort of drop drop waist, I guess. Do you call that a drop waist? I guess so. And then I've got the um, two dresses from New Look. I don't know if I've said that. And then this cardigan is from Shein. And I usually wear long cardigans because I feel like they elongate me. Um, I don't know about this length of cardigan. I love the colour. I love the pink. But... I feel like this sort of stops at my widest part and I'm not sure, it definitely doesn't look nice from the back this, I know that, but I don't look at myself from the back. But let me know what you think about this length of cardigan on me, I do think it's a no, I'm not sure I'd actually go out with this on, but it's nice and cosy and um, yeah, it's nice and warm and cosy, but I, I just don't feel like this length of cardigan is a particularly good look on me. So let me know what you think. Is it just me because I'm not used to it or do you agree? Um, I'd be grateful for some input on that if you would. Thank you. Hello there, it's Sunday. Just a very quick outfit of the day today because it's two o'clock and I'm about to put my lounge wear on. <laughs> We've only been out. I've been working this morning. We did go for a walk along the seafront in Timmouth, which was lovely. So nice it just stopped raining, to be honest. Other than that, the only place I've been is the parcel shop, and I'm not leaving the house again today. So today's outfit was um, these purple jeggings from Marks and Spencers, which I've talked about before. I love these jeggings. They're such good value for money. They come in a vast array of colours, and they hold you in as well. They feel very holdy in they there. A step above leggings, probably wouldn't leave the house in leggings as trousers. 
but I would in these because they just feel a little bit more structured and I do feel like they hold everything in. And then this jumper with, I bought this jumper from Shein last year and I liked it so much I bought it in three different colourways. I'm actually quite bored of it now so I will probably be moving it and it's triplet sisters I guess along um at some point soon but i really liked it and i feel like the mauve just goes with the purple so that's nice um and then i've just got my little clark's boots on as well and it's all about to come off and i'm about to put my loungewear on good morning it's monday rainy monday have i said rainy every single morning i've done this video it feels like it i'm more annoyed about the rain today because they said it wasn't going to rain i'm off to exeter to meet kirsten today for a bit of shopping and some lunch so this is my outfit let me just excuse the state of my office as though i've had a slight change of venue this morning i am wearing this dress from new look curve um which is about a year ago i think it's let me just undo that and you can see what it looks like. I should start without the coat on really, shouldn't I? Um, just a loose fit tiered cotton type dress. And then I've got this jacket, sort of biker style faux leather jacket, which is Dorothy Perkins. I've got Burberry scarf, check, grey and black and red, just to keep my neck warm. And I've got um, these boots, which are new look, um, DM style boots, I guess, bikery type boots. Um, hoping this is going to be warm enough because it looks pretty miserable and wet out there. That brings us to the end of this week of winter outfits. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I will link everything I can in the description box below, although it won't be very much because most of it is old. Um, hope you've enjoyed. I've said that already, haven't I? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.